Okay. I I hear the the the, the audible acceptance of this Hilda pick. Ah yes. Hilda Cho, Hilda uh, uh, Kali Cho, right? We've seen it count uh, plenty of times in the regular season. Now, Toda, we might have to ask him to reset before the turtle. Yeah, right now, Warlord is going to get poked down as well, taking a lot of damage here. Oh. He only has to purify. Yeah. He's going to go down. Side step points to Pierce first blood. Quite the statement. Zorn using his high loss. He doesn't have a lot of playmaking uh, abilities, but let's see what he got. Yeah, and Lord with the knockout onto Zorn. He's dropping very low. He's 1v4, and they get the kill with Momo. Real world manipulation does not allow TB to continue the. In this game, I gotta say, Zorn is capped a little bit, man. And Chiku Guys is very low going up against Nats, but Chiku Guys wants to fight back. Nats, he wants to go for it. Oh, Ooh. Well, the extra defense from the get away from me actually kept Chiku Guys alive alongside the Quantum. No, 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 no. Oh, here comes Nats. He wants to go for the dive. Chiku doing a lot of damage, but no inspire means yeah. no kill. But Yan Lord will be here. The Trade. He's capped a little bit in this game because he's a playmaker going up against the high loss, going up against an Eve. Doesn't look good. Speaking of, Wave of the Dragon onto Zorn again. Revitalized, used very early on. Chibi is here. Glorious pathway drop down to stop Todak from retreating, but Real Woman Lee is going to be used in the return. And Chibi has been picked off first. Momo in some trouble, but reviving so much HP. And the three man knockout with the Jeet Kundo from Yan Loy stops things. Final slash. Momo, will he get taken out? Smooth does get the kill, but he's going to trade his own life in return. And Zion Senpoi picks that one up. Yan Loy keeping the fight going. Gets the knockout. Another kill on net to Zion. <laughs> It's not easy for Vamos to pull it off. I think that's why we were worried about this Hylos pickup, right? But Vamos starts on the turtle. Yanlord is there. Wave the dragon once again. Dodges the blade surge. But he is alone right here. Warlord to get the kill. TB going to be able to finish him off. But Zorn now going to be left by his lonesome killing spree for Zion. Momo still alive. Crushes Warlord with the front of his axe. And Toda continues to fight. They're so low. Zion with the double kill. Momo finally traded. TB wants to keep the fight going. Oh, no, no, no. Oh! Triple kill for the Nolan! JB gets his own double! And Lord, but again, priority over the turtle. Zorn. Zorn is out. trouble. Momo gonna zone him out. Nets drops the Zaman Force. Not able to kill oh. Zion. And Jiku guys punishes him in return. Now there was a 1v1. Chibi versus Momo. He's gonna be able to zone out the studio. Glorious pathway to cut off Zion, but he's already at the very edge, so he's able to get out. Zion Lord buying more time. Vamos cannot find the initiation. Todak is facing so, so well. And still do this. They just need a bit of time. They need a lot of discipline, but they can do it. The fight's gonna start over the turtle. Momo already in the back line. Yan Lord with the flicker kick gets JB into the real world manipulation. Glorious pathway. What? JB still what? gets the turtle though. He will eventually fall, but he got the objective. Momo gonna be traded at the same time for Yan Lord too. Shivamo's coming out on top. Warlord jumping no. in. Forces a flicker out of Zion Senpoi. No! That's Zion! No! With the god life! Goes from the back line, but he is now 1v3. He will finally be shut down. Did not. In my personal opinion, he's being a little bit too aggressive. Yeah, and Lord looking for the kick, does find one. Warlord jumps in, but the one gonna be able to drop the glorious pathway. Real World Manipulation drop down as well, but Chiku Guys is here. He finishes off TB. Zion Senpoi will be traded in the meantime by Smooth. It's gonna be one for one. Do the same thing for this Lord. Yeah, and Lord, does he want to engage? Nope, not gonna use the kick on Zorn this time, but that means he's out. Oh! oh! Turns around the 1v2! Chiku finally gets the killing spree, but how does he do that? Dude, I blink, what happened? We oh don't even God. know, but here comes Yan Lord, flicker kick, way of the dragon onto the R lift, right into the RWM. Is it gonna be enough? Final slash, going to disrupt Todak in the back line as Vamos now looking to run them down. Summon Force doing a lot of damage. Sword chases down Zion Semboy. It has been started here, but look at Todak. They want a flank angle. This is what they've been doing. They want a flank. Yan Lord going in, looking for the kick, gets the flicker kick, gets purified. Those so Warlords able to jump out. Glorious Pathway comes out, stopping Yan Lord, so he's caught out by himself. And now Momo as well has been abandoned by the rest of Todak. Unstoppable! Hey, and now the Lord pushing down mid lane. No. Oh, hold on, Blade Surge gonna find Zion Senpoi, but not a real woman mission. Crap them in the funnel! Kick onto Warlord away, but it's gonna be enough for Yan Lord to get that kill. And Todak will even up the odds just... But the moment Todak gets it, they might win this game. Hard to flank this calm though. Here we go. Warriors Pathway comes out. Zion Senpoi kinda trapped, but they're not gonna full engage. Final slash onto him, forces the flicker out. Meanwhile, Yan Lord in the back line. Smooth gonna be separated from the rest of the team. Yan Lord gets the kick. Unfortunately, he's gonna be one picked off instead. And now Zion has to get away from Zorn with the blade surge. Chibi almost burst. Overextend. 
That is a good question. Lord going in. Crystal is already at half HP. Momo is going to drag it away to the bottom side, but will it be enough as the rest of Team Vamos come in? The Lord with the two-man knockout, but he's exposed. Oh. The kick not going to save him. Glorious Bravoy comes out to slow down the rest, but Todak and Crystal is wide open for Vamos to knock it down and claim game number one. So ducks. Actually yeah. scale in the later stage of the game here for the side of Amos. But last pick, CC. I rarely gonna see seeing here for Apple SG. What is this a common pick here? Really durable to begin with. And now we have Vamos who can literally run in your face and are durable. I agree, it's gonna be tough for Toda. Now here we see a, a bit of a scuffle over the Little Wanderer. Zorn taking a bulk of the damage, but he's a good taunt. He'll be no. fine. In fact, here comes Chibi from the other side. Two-man taunt, and Chibi jumps right in. Yanlo gets a knock up under the tower, but, but four members of Vamos are right here in the turtle pit. Todak needs to try and disjoint them. Flicker, final slap for Chibi, dodges it with the iframes. And now Todak are completely surrounded. Yanlord and Momo instantly fall. Yeah, the only one that can really risk aim for is the Gata Kacha, even the CC. Ultra Here comes TV jumps in on Zaya, does so much damage. Avatar the Guardian will miss. Oh. That's a two-man pickup into the Zaman Force. The way of the Dragon onto Zorn, into the tower, Revitalize keeps him alive for a while, but not for long, as Zion Senpoi gets a kill. And the front line pickup came in uh, after the fight started, not during the engage. Yeah, right now. Chigu dropping Zaman Force very early. He wants to kill on Warlord, but he's jumping in. Final Slash gets the kill, though Chigu will be traded in the turn. Not too sure if that's worth it for Todak. Afterwards, and now proxies go jungle camp. Uh, Todak solo kind of messed up the cost risk benefit of that one. Yeah. It looked cool. Ooh, Momo in some trouble. 1v3 under the tower. He has a lot of sustainability, so he should be able to survive for a while. But Chibi is coming in to do the finisher. And the kill will be given to Nets. Chiku now jumping in a bit too late to join the party. He's in trouble. Nets wants to chase him down, but he doesn't have sprint. Never mind, though. Smooth is here. And he kills on Zion Senpoi. I have a feeling he probably stole the Jujin ultimate. And Zion, he's, he's not even going to get this bot tier 1, or is he? Yeah, he's not going to get it. He wants to get it, but Zorn is right die. there. And Smooth is now looking to cut him off. Zayed being slowed down. Smooth jumping into the tower. Pops the CC out. Chases him down. Mega kill for the CC. Way of the Dragon though kicks Smooth into the tower. So Yan Lord secures the shots on the top side without Revitalize. It's not even fair. Yeah, it's really not fair. Now you guys wants to take down Zorn. Zorn uses the Revitalize. Look at how much he's healing. Final oh slash goodness. on two people, but Nets is the one doing the more oh, damage. No. But Chibi with the two man blade search done. Both members of Todak disembark. We've seen how Vamos looks from behind, but now Smooth gets kicked. Yeah, wave of the dragon onto the CC. Will it be enough? Looks like Yan Lord will be able to finally finish him off, but Zayed is left abandoned, killing spree for Nets. Is it worth it? Yan Lord himself trying to escape with conceal. Really nice Shunpo dodge, really showing off in front of them. Chibi is looking like the best video player right now. Uh -oh. And oh, yeah, tried to find Ness, but Zorn taunted him instantly. And now Chibi from the flank, killing spree on Zion Senpai. Tot this year. Dang, that's why I'm not. Coach Boss is a good, this is one of the best. Oh, final slash on two into the Zion Force. It's going to be enough, though, because no. Warlord in the back line. And Smooth already picked up Zion Senpai. Blade Surge on two again. Chibi making it happen every single time. Get and he's up. just whittling down Momo from afar. Mega kill for Chibi. Smooth doesn't even go down. Oh, Chibi, Chibi, Chibi. He's still going. He's looking for Chiku, guys, and he's just gone. Blown up by Nets with the mega kill. This is the unstoppable force from Vamos. They're going for a full push with the Lord down mid lane. Warlord already baiting out some resources. Zorn just standing there menacingly, zoning out Todak entirely. The Lord going to be bursted down quite quickly. Flicker final slash is going to be enough, though, because Momo is left by his lonesome. Nets is doing too much damage. Unstoppable for the Irizel. Lord is already gone. Minion wave has been cleared up, but another one is coming up top. So Vamos, eager to set their hands on another inhibitor, will be able to get it. Will they continue the push? Looks like they're not intent on leaving. Yan Lord with the flicker kick finds way of the dragon on the TV, but what? he just blows up what? on Vamos for TV. The crystal is open. Kodak is melting. Vamos, they don't even have enemies. The crystal is the only thing in the base for them. Are you kidding me? No, guys, guys. <laughs> we're talking about protect the king. You need a knight. <laughs> <laughs> you need a Leo more. They, here, they told us the this rat without. It's not a hero that you really force fights on. Uzziah needs to get out. Pops the Phantom Steed. Will it be enough, though? Because Chibi is severing the entirety of Todak. The stacking, the damage, it is too much. Chiku's already popped his Purify. He's still surviving off of the Brilliant Heal. But that's a double kill for Chibi. 
You can certainly see that for now. The turtle has officially come up. Both teams are going to be eager to try and contest it. Momo misses the Spear of Glory. Smooth is in the back line. RWM comes out. Raging Stantor not able to cancel. Find up Steve doing a lot of damage. Warlord going to be the first one picked off. And Zayat gets the turtle on top of all of it. Chibi going to be chased down as well with the glorious pathway. It was impressive that Chibi was able to get out of it. He still used the Ivern to get out of it, but... Oh, hold on. Zyde the way of the in. dragon kicked into the tower, but he's not able to follow up because of the stun. And Smooth not able to disrupt either. Beautiful Terrify from Warlord. Can they continue chasing? Zorn will make sure of it. The flicker forward from oh, Smooth! Oh, Jimmy! The tornado! And Jimmy's coming in for some vengeance! Fear of Glory pulls Smooth in, gives Zayam the kill. That's like a hasty retreat. Oh, but Zai, he wants to use this as much as he can. Zai right now has... Oh, it's oh, no. the Nats with the... Oh, that's a lot of damage, Zai. Pops the glorious pathway. Is he going to be able to get away? No, Smooth goes in from the side with the Desert Tornado. Double kill for the Khalid. Down so fast, and it's just going to be good for Vamos. Here comes Zorn again. Gets the kick onto Yan Lord into the RWM, into the King's Calling. Todak looking for the fight that they want, but Warlord has already picked off one person. GB, though, will be traded. Not able to escape from the King's Calling. Move in the back line. Desert Tornado picks off one more kill on Momo. It's a two for two trade in the mid lane. Shrinking and he's shrinking fast. Dota, they're trying to secure this objective as, as, as well as they can, but you guys are getting a lot of damage. Fear of Glory into Smooth. Raging Sandstorm dodged by the Brilliance. Great timing from Chiku, guys. But Zorn looking for vengeance. Way of the Dragon kicks Momo into the tower and Smooth just heal. Yeah. Now Zorn waiting for the back line. Finds Zyme Senpoi. And Zyme Senpoi has to be. A little bit more careful, Zai comes in. RWM used on Smooth, Phantom Steed, they want to chase down Khalid, and they finally shut down this annoying EXP laner. He probably has like 10 different sets of rotations in enemy jungle. Oh, here comes the Phantom Seed for the turtle once again. Zayat gets it quite easily. Vamo is actually not looking to contest, but Zorn flickers and gets the kick on the Momo! Can he get the King calling out? He cannot! RWM! Smooth in the back line, doing so much damage because Todak is stacked up! They get the killing spree on Nets though, that's gonna be one! Todak looking to respawn! He's still alive! Chibi on a sliver of 8 3 somehow dashing away! Oh. Smooth! Re-engaging on Zayat! That's one kill! Mega kill though! Chibi! Oh. He gets a triple! Trading his own! Life. It's actually in the mid lane on top of Warlord. They found him, but that's a lot of ultimates used just for that one kill. They can go for Chibi though. Chibi is now cornered. He's dueling against Zayn. He jumps back in. He knows he doesn't Whoa! have no! so much damage. That's the Leomord passive. I think they want to keep up putting the pressure. Wouldn't be too bad an idea, but they have to be careful. Oh! Terrify on Chiku! Oh! The Brilliance just in time! Now, Momo jumps forward with King Tolling to keep him alive. Smooth though, dive the back line, looking for the Lunok. Ness is trapped inside the King Tolling. Wait! Able to fire just in time to trade! Chibi in the meantime is dismantling the other side of the map. And four members of Todak! A little bit more of a net worth lead, but it's not too much yet. Yan Lord starts the fight with Glorious Pathway, but Zorn and Warlord just walk away. Chibi still looking for the flank positioning. Yan Lord, oh, no. wait! Oh. Too deep here. What look at Smooth, he's in the back line. Wave the dragon on the animal, kick oh, forward. Zayat though, burst down net. But here comes Smooth, King Tolling, RWM gonna be using back line. Zayat already took down Warlord. And Chibi has been shut down too. Smooth has to get away with the Raising Sandstorm. He still has immortality, but he's surrounded by four members of Todak. He has to flicker away by as much time as possible, but I don't think he's gonna be able to do anything as Momo gets the shutdown. And the Lord is just keeping an eye on Zor. Lord though, pushing down bottom. They're gonna escort the minion wave mid to get another inhibitor. Chibi and Zorn in the back line. Can they cut them off? No, King's calling. Traps Chibi, he's able to dash out just in time, but Zorn is not so lucky. He will be picked off. Never mind, he still flickers away by some time. But we can see Chiku in the base. Zayat has already finished off the enemy roamer. They're still continuing the pursuit. Wait, Nets. Nets doing some damage, but he's very far out. Todak looks like this is where they are solving. Making it so that now there's a possibility that Todak might make a mistake because they use all their skills. But they're still trying to push it. Brilliance comes out to clear the minion wave. Glorious pathway to slow oh. down Nets, but here comes the damage. Momo, the first victim. Yes, oh, for the second. But Zayat, the trample from the flank. Waves. And now Vamos, they're playing that wave management very well. For his pathway used again, Chiku with the Darkening tries to take out Zorn, but Smooth jumps in, Raging Sands for two members. Chibi is way no. too deep! What? He's no. in the King's Calling, Immortality Pop! And Zayat gets the Unstoppable! Now they're doing AoE damage because the rest of Vamos has followed up too close to try and save him! Triple kill for the Leomar!
don't think they have enough damage to really threaten this. They have to clear out the minion wave. So I'm going in RWM being used. Move trying to clear the minions, but he's being picked off by Zion. Immortality gone. Chiku on the crystal with the brilliance. And Zorn is recall spamming. He knows that they've been bested this time. Kodak will not permit the clean sweep. Ladies and gentlemen, I can see an intention here. If Glue is going to be picked against an EXP Minsitar here, it's not going to be easy for the Minsitar to actually join the team fights here, which is one of the victory conditions. You don't want actually drag the net around. Oh, oh this he, he drags himself. It's fine. Yeah, <laughs> I, I I don't fish. Yeah, me neither. I eat fish. A zone, two man knockout mid lane. TB Blade Surge comes in. Soul Sepher, first blood, easy pickings on round. But dealing damage to a glue is going to be near impossible. Uh, Smooth already zoning out the back line. So Momo and Yan Lord are here. They make the box, but oh, the RWM miss. traps them inside. They're not able to get TB in the King's Calling. So the Yan Lord drops. The turtle dropping real low, though. Zion will be able to get it because TB is afraid of getting picked off. Zoan still sticking on top of him, but Warlord already got the double kill. Very unfortunate. Zoan, is he going to go down here? No. Be in mid, and that's the majority of the map here, Husky. Mm -hmm. They had to commit a lot. They're going to do it again. Glorious pathway used quite early on. Chiku wants Warlord, but he flickers back and right into the claws of Zion! But Zion gets kicked with the wave of the dragon right into Nets. He's Net. gonna be surrounded by four members. And now Yan Lord has gone too far as well. That's a big whiff, but while you're here, might as well contest for the turtle, right? Yep. Oh, they're gonna try and do so, but all five members of Amos are here. Glorious pathway comes out. King's calling flickers on top of TV. He cannot escape. Shut down by Chiku, guys. And now the Glorious pathway is stopping the rest of Team Amos. Warlord is already gone. The split split catches Yan Lord. But Todak are just gonna wait until he pops out because there's no way he's taking down the high lows. A definitive victory for Todak. If you fail once. And the damage from Nets is already ramping up at. Under seven minutes. Uh oh. Chiku oh. gets kicked with the way of the dragon. Does he have brilliance? No, he gets stunned straight away. Brilliance comes out just in time, and Momo jumps in with the king's calling. But now Chiku is trapped in the RWM, picked off eventually. Momo also way too far to the rest of his team. Split, split, guarantees the kill. Zayed will trade for Turtle. Not gonna lie, I thought you guys would survive for a second there. Oh, and you go oh! they play right on top of Smooth Glorious Pathway to chase down Ness. They didn't realize he was in yes, the front. And TV comes in to separate Zion Sepoy. A massive misplay by Todak. Yep. So he's going for the damage build on Eve. It only makes the problem worse. A glorious pathway now, contesting the Lord RWM used very early on. Warlord what? gets the Lord, but TB's just gone. King's calling inside the Lord pit. Yan Lord will be picked off at the same time, but so far it's a good trade. Zorn trying to look for a kick, but he's not able to find it. Momo already picked off by the split split. Double kill. Because the front lines, but the back lines of Toda, they, they just get deleted so fast. Um, here comes every ultimate being used at once. Zorn gets stunned in the back line. King's calling actually denying him. He gets picked off behind the tower. Beautiful Spear of Glory pulls two forward. JB gonna be trapped, but he's able to dash out. Smooth gonna be melted away. Meanwhile, the Titan is play oh, in the back line. Down. Delivers Zion right to net doorstep. They get the shutdown. No, that's not it. He could be a cover. All right. Well. Purple buff contested, RWM comes out, Zion Senpoi flickers out, but Yellow gets kicked oh, in, oh, oh. King's calling right in between Team Vamos! She be able to escape, the rest of Toda completely scattered as Zion Net. looking for execute in the back line. Ooh. They've lost Yan Lord, but Chiku has been traded for Warlord! Net's still alive though, on the opposite side of the map, three members of Todak down! Chiku would have gotten that kill, and now Vamos are looking for an end angle! It's a 4v2! Can Zion and Zion Sempo clear up two waves at once? The blade surge, the flicker in with the Jeet Kune Dome the Dragon! They've taken out the remaining defenders! Ladies and gentlemen, your first Malaysian M6 representative is none other than Team Vamos! They've defied the Chronicle!